This video is going to look at more examples of probability problems. First example, how many different ways can six types of laser printers be displayed on a shelf in a computer store? Well, we've got six different printers and we have six spots to put them in. So we're going to have our first spot, spot one, and then spot two, spot three, spot four, spot five, and spot six. And we're going to assume that once we put a printer on the shelf, it's going to stay there and we're not going to move it. So when we go to put the first printer there, in the very first spot, we have all six printers to choose from. So we have six printers that are available to go in that spot. So we're going to pick one and put it on the shelf. So we've got six to choose from. When we go to the next spot, we've already put one on the shelf. So we only have five left. So when we go to put the second printer on the shelf, we have five printers to choose from. When we go to do the third printer, we've already put two on the shelf. There's four left. So we have four printers to choose from. And then we've put three up. We've got three left. So there's three to choose from. When we put four on the shelf. There's only two left. And then we've put all but one on the shelf. So we're noting how many printers there are at each of our selections. And so to get the total number of ways we can arrange this, we need to multiply. So we need to take for the first spot, we've got six choices, then times five choices for the second spot, times four choices for the third, times three, times two, and then times one to give us 720 different arrangements of these six printers. All right, next example. A number of students at a large university were asked if they owned a car. The table shows the results. So we're told people that live in the dorm, people that live off campus, and then the number of car owners, and then the number that do not own a car. And when you're given a two-way table like this, it's really helpful to figure out the totals. So I'm going to sum each of these rows so I can get the total number of car owners and the total number of people that don't own cars. And then I'm also going to total across to get the total number of people that live in the dorm and then the total number of people that live off campus. And then if I sum either up and down or side to side, we should get the same total. So 108 plus 80 gives us 188. And then if we add 101 plus 87, we also get 188. So it's just really helpful to figure out each of our different totals. So the questions, what is the probability that a student selected at random lives off campus? We're trying to find the probability someone lives off campus. Well, looking at our table, we have 80 people that live off campus out of 188 to choose from. So the probability of living off campus is 80 over 188. And again, you can leave it just like that, unreduced fractions. You do not need to reduce or simplify for me. And the next one, what is the probability that a student selected at random owns a car? So our car owners, we've got 87 students that own cars out of a total of 188 people. So the probability of owning a car is 87 over 188. So the last one, what is the probability that a student who lives off campus owns a car. So for this one, we're trying to figure out the probability someone owns a car given that they live off campus. So it says, what's the probability that a student who lives off campus owns a car? But we're really only concerned with those students that live off campus. So right away, we're narrowing down our sample size to just the ones that live off campus. So we're really only concerned with the 80 students that live off campus. This says, what's the probability that a student who lives off campus? So if we're looking at the ones that live off campus, there's 80 of those. And then we want to know the probability that if someone lives off campus, they own a car. Well, of those 80 people that live off campus, 55 of them own a car. So the probability that a student who lives off campus owns a car will be 55 over 80. 